What you did was right. I did what I had to do. I'll let you light the pyre. Even though we've been preparing for it all our lives, 
Now we don't have much time. We were sent here for a reason, to protect the North Grove. Winter is coming, and we have a role to play in the war to come. Our father never would have wanted us to stand by and see how's forced or fall. Not while we can still do something about it. It's too late to reach Iron Path. It may already be lost. You know protecting the North Grove is the right thing to do. Those were Gregor's last words. They sent you. You should decide. House Forrester needs our help. So we'll gather our forces and march south. May the gods guide us and protect us. They were nothing but Stark loyalists. And the Starks are dead. Are you listening, Reek? Father wanted to make sure they bend the knee. And what do I find? A child lord. Ethan the Wise. With his bulldog sentinel at his side. As if I'd be afraid. And I thought, oh, this is going to be fun. Mira was so devoted when we first came to King's Landing. Grandmother, that day Cersei dragged her before the throne. She claimed loyalty to me, right in front of her. But then she had the audacity to go behind my back and meet with Tyrion when I'd clearly forbade it. And then that letter she forged to Elena Glenmore. As if I wouldn't find out. It was bold, I'll give her that. But I can't forgive that she used me. And now, with all that's happened, the gods know what Mira was doing behind my back. Grandmother, it makes me question if she was ever loyal to me at all. I saw something of myself in Garrett Tuttle. I thought I could trust in him, Sam, but I was wrong. He gave me his word that he'd stay true to the vows he'd made in the godswood. Yet before a day was out, a brother was dead at the foot of the wall. I needed his sword at Craster's. I defended him to Frostfinger. And it cost me. Whatever happened up there, a man of the watch doesn't run away. Who should return then? But another Lord Forrester. Roderick. Back from the twins with balls so shrunken he let Griff White till beat him into the mud in his own yard. Reek, I had to come and see this walking tragedy for myself. But he didn't even have the courage to stab me with my own blade. But then, he jabbed out that fourthborn's eye. He killed the man who betrayed him. I was rather starting to like him. And then I thought, let's play a game. That's when the fun really started. There was something about Asher Forrester. You would have liked him, Miss Sandai. He was rude and aggressive, mind you. But he, he didn't play games. Asher needed my help. I needed to know if he deserved it, so I tested him. 
But there was no easy answer. But then he told me the truth. He'd risked losing all he had come here for to stand by his friend, a former slave. In the end, that mattered more than disobeying an order. I wish I could have done more for him. Perhaps if I had, things would have turned out differently. Loyalty, friendship, respect. Without them, we have nothing. I don't know if Mira ever understood that grandmother. I know she told me the truth about Sarah, but she also broke a promise to Sarah to keep a secret. In the end, I respect that she was willing to do whatever it took to get what she wanted. But at what cost? Roderick. I could have told him this story wasn't going to have a happy ending. His brother dead, his mother dead, his little pile of timber in ruins. I just wish I'd been there to see it. That Bolton bastard let their upstart houses go to war, Father. I know these foresters. If they had any sense, they'd know when to bend the knee and live to see another day. They fought hard, I'll give them that, but they were reckless. Shrewd when they should have been bold. Impetuous to the last. When will these northerners ever learn? The Starks are dead. The war is over. And they lost. Roderick? We don't have much time. 